Welcome to the stream. Let's do more of this vampire survivor stuff. I felt like playing it, so we'll open with it. Uh, give me a sec. I'm just setting up my windows here. Which I probably should have done, but <laughs> it's fine. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's go. Right. So I did get this dude last time. Which, definitely. There's still some weapons I haven't evolved, I haven't figured out how to do. Like this one. Alright, you know what? Let's play as you. This what is this character meant to be? It looks like a demon thing, but it has like a holy cross, like a holy demon. Um, okay. Uh, I guess let's go projectile based. We'll go duplicator. That'll work well with this cross. a good ring. item, unfortunately. I guess we can get Rune Tracer as well. Just thinking ahead. for whip, which we don't want. We roll. Garlic's upgrade, yeah. And that sword. Wait, was it that sword? Hang on, that bring more. No, it's the wand. My bad. But still. Projectile based. What was the sword again? Okay, we definitely want cooldown reduction.
There's a rune tracer. Look at your birds. Again, projectiles. This seems good. Stand right next to this now. thinking what's beneficial here. Okay. And the last item will be the... The white bird. And then eventually, when we evolve, I'll get garlic. Gee, Clover seems to be coming up quite a bit. only a single one. I mean, damage is good, though. I'm going for that left piece, and I'll get the right piece as well. seem to be doing as much damage as I'd like.
Okay, let me think, let me think, let me think. Uh, one needs to be for the duplicator, then I guess I have a free slot. I'll go for the XP. Hello, Loopy. How's it going? Wait, what level is that now? Okay, so cross is max. Good, what about me? Uh, doing well, just kicking back. Did a bunch of errands today, so I'm a bit tired. And where I am, it's kind of in like this weird state where it's meant to be summer. It was hot earlier today, and now it's gone. And it feels like winter. So I've had to change clothes because it got cold. I feel like this time of year is super busy for you, yeah? What do you usually get up to this time of year? It was just getting Christmas stuff organized, more or less. Um, but I'm currently on break, so I don't have work to worry about for the next... Uh, just under two weeks now. But I get a nice long break this year. I'm playing something that I can play with one hand and kind of have a drink or something in the other. Hmm. This is not as strong as I thought it was going to be. I mean, to be fair, I guess I was counting on a duplicator and it hasn't happened. Uh, let me re-roll for it. Wow. <laughs> there it is. Okay, got it. I was gonna say... Um, had a long day you're on break from school and doing stuff around the house and pet sitting for family and friends that go on vacations oh okay uh, hey Nick what's up what kind of pet are you looking after I have a couple of friends that do that They do pet sitting. Ah! Okay, it's fine. Yeah, I'm just, uh, hoping to get through this. I don't know. Two cats and two dogs separated into three houses. What? Jeez. And not including your three dogs. That's a lot of animals. Uh, I guess. Well, good luck. <laughs> I guess it depends if they're... What kind of personality they have, because... There are some animals that are easier than others. There are some that are chill, and then there are others that, like... 
try to get your attention and want you to go do stuff. Oh boy. Alright, this is the test. If this is gonna survive. This has to go smoothly. Uh, sure. Okay, there we go. That's my build complete, and I can go after these other items. Your cat just sleeps all day. <laughs> That's an easier cat to take care of. Uh, okay. Maybe I should have gone duplicate, I don't know. You grew up with animals, so you know how to read body language as well. Oh, okay. Then shouldn't be a problem. I'll go cool down. Uh, I think I just need to go into cool down. Make these things shoot more. Yeah, the last uh, house I lived in, there was a cat there and he was so chill. He was a ragdoll and you can pick him up like a baby. Didn't really require much attention. And I used to have Fridays often. He would know that I was home on Fridays and would just chill on my footrest. Yeah, that right, that cat was so photogenic. It was just, yeah, it was weird that you could pick him up and his body just kind of lets it happen. <laughs> I hadn't experienced that before, like, other cats don't generally let you do that, but he just leans into it. Okay, this is working out better now. <laughs> it doesn't doesn't feel as stressful. Right, how far away am I from this? Um, you know what? I'll go get the clover. I don't usually get it. Maybe maybe that's the key to evolving one of these weapons. I don't know about. It also did offer it to me quite a few times. I wonder if that's got to do anything with anything.
But yeah, I got, I got all my Christmas stuff done, so now it's just waiting for the day to go see family. That's pretty much it. So looking forward to it. It's always just chill out that day, eat, and then come home. How many hours do I have on Terraria? Oh, I'd have to check Steam. It's definitely in the hundreds, not sure like to what extent. Okay, hang on. Uh, library, Terraria, okay. <laughs> 1,449. So, I guess in the thousands. I mean, compared to some people, that's still rookie numbers. But there was a period in... What was it? 2019, I think, when I was playing it every day, practically, for multiple hours doing that build. I'm just going to start walking towards it. You're just about to break 400 on one world, or across multiple playthroughs? I'd be willing to say, like, half of that would go towards one world. Playthroughs, got it. That's decent. It's still a lot more than what most people play. You've been getting into building after you got every item in the game. Ah, okay. Are you building an adventure mode or like in the normal world? I have yet to try adventure mode. Even though that's, like, specifically made for, uh, people that like to build. Normal? Uh, good luck. It's always fun building something and then getting interrupted. Although I guess that's less the case if you're building in a town. But man, I can remember some of the stuff I had to go through to make builds. Just getting constantly interrupted by enemies. Because I did most of my building pre-hard mode and that was... that was something. Whilst these things are on screen, I'm gonna move. Because they don't really give much experience and they take ages to kill, so... I may as well move towards the clover. Oh wait, there's a clover down here. How far? Not that far. Okay. I guess I'll get both of them. I'm still not sure what this character's supposed to be. It's like a demon, but then it has a holy cross on its chest.
There it is. Okay. You like hiring the Terra Prisma for building? Terra Prisma? Remind me what that is. So I can feel dumb that I didn't have it whilst building. It's a summon. Oh. Yeah, I mean... That's probably, like, later. I guess pre-hard mode, there's not a lot, whole lot of summons that could defend you well. Then call out, I don't feel bad. And when I was building... I was doing those big builds, primarily... <laughs> it didn't happen when the Empress of Light existed. Like, I think it was 1.31 when I was building, mainly. I don't think I've beat her yet. I haven't done a playthrough where I've beat her. Okay, cool. I don't feel so bad. I'm honestly surprised the audio hasn't started cutting out. Usually when I have this many projectiles, it starts not having a good time. You like speedrunning for a map all the way to the moon mode when you start building. It's probably a good idea. I think originally the reason I didn't do it was because it was a normal playthrough and then I was like, alright, I made a nice looking house, people liked it, so I was like, alright, I'll make something slightly larger, and then the idea came to make that giant tree. And I kind of got worried that I wasn't sure how it was going to work in hard mode, because I was like, hmm, there's those wyvern things, or whatever, the dragons. Yeah, admittedly, it's slightly larger, like, kind of got out of hand. It wasn't supposed to be that big originally. Oh, what's that? Ah. Okay. So it is Clover. It's so good, though. Yeah, I never finished it, though. <laughs> I forgot what game came out. I think Animal Crossing came out. And then I was playing that and I, ha I didn't really go back to it. No, was it Animal Crossing? No, I forget what game it was, but I got interrupted by some game and then... I went back for it for a bit and then another game came out. So... Yeah, I think 1.4 came out, and then I was playing with a friend. So it was a different world, and then I did a different build that was much smaller. I just regret not having recordings for it. it would have been nice to do a time lapse, but... I did not have the hard drive space for that. So I've been considering doing another one, but I guess I just have to find where it fits in, and if people want to watch me do it. I'm playing it on Sundays again, but I guess we'll see how well that goes. There's another update coming out next year, so maybe, like, then I can look 
for it. In the meantime, I've been having fun with Calamity. <laughs> You'll be there. I appreciate that. I am trying to do it on YouTube, so... I've been trying to stick to weekends doing stuff over there. I have a couple of ideas in mind. I was looking up if you could convert a journey mode map into a standard map, and you can using editing tools. So I think the way I might approach it is just like, edit, edit a character. So then... It can just jump in with everything unlocked from a materials perspective. Build something that with the intent of like people playing through it. And then just share the map. So then it's it's not a map that I've played through, it's more like a clean map and then throughout the map there's stuff that you can find that I've made. At least that's the idea. I'm sure people have done it before, but... So pretty much, like... I was thinking of... Potentially doing what I did with the Lizard Palace and the other one again, but maybe a little different. But then it's still locked. If that, so then... When people go there for real, it's like something different. And potentially doing the same thing with the blue dungeon, like making it more dungeon-like, I don't know. And I want to see if maybe using some of these editing things that maybe I can make a world have both Crimson and Corruption. I'm kind of doing like a theme around them. But yeah, just ideas at this point, I'm not committed to anything. It'll, it'll all depend on, like, <laughs> if people are around. If not, it's just like I'll probably put a little bit of effort into it and then forget about it. There's another patch coming out next year, so we'll see. I doubt it'll be their last patch. It looks like they're doing collaborations. They'll probably be doing that for a while. I mean, how many times have they said it's the last patch? I feel like I've heard it at least eight times. Just have to survive four more minutes. Why why are there so many chests that I haven't gotten? Did I just miss them? Okay, here's one. Get it. At this point I wanna believe it again so they can move on to something better. I mean, I know a few people that are game developers, and if I was to think about how they talk about stuff, they're probably working already on what's next, it's just they don't want to say anything until it's concrete enough. Like, I'd be shocked if they didn't have their next game in its early phases already. 
Or people working on it, at least. So they probably have already moved on. I imagine some of the team is keeping Terraria alive, and then the rest are kind of working on whatever it is they're working on. Because when they show off that pr first preview, it's not like it comes out of nowhere. It's like they've probably been working on it for a few years. So they're definitely already working on whatever's next. There we go. Alright, combined bird. Uh, I'm just thinking what should I get? I mean, I guess it doesn't matter. Maybe I get the, the upgraded wand. Anyway, but I got the upgraded one, so hang on. Garlic? Yeah, maybe garlic. They did mention Terraria too. Yeah, no, they've been hinting at it. I'm not saying it's going to be something else. Wouldn't it be hilarious if, like, the next Terraria game is 3D, and then Microsoft announces a 2D Minecraft? Oh no. This... Ooh, ooh, I'm a little worried about this. I mean, I guess it's strong enough, it's just this... Area safety is not what I imagined it would be. It's like this oval. Okay, there it is. Garlic, yes! Alright, just gotta survive another minute. Oh, right, I can, I can upgrade it. Okay. <laughs> that it matters. It's 20 seconds. You feel like a lot of Terraria streamers get asked this, but would I ever do a multiplayer with viewers? So, typically Terraria streamers get asked this question, um, very early. There's two ways you get asked this question. It's either the person turns up to your stream and the very first thing they say is that and generally the answer will be no. Or you get to know people and then, you know, they hang out in your stream long enough and they float the idea and then the stream is like, yes. So I've had both. Like, I did a full playthrough with someone that started off as a viewer and became a very good friend, so... As far as, like, with multiple people, I haven't really given it much thought. Just because I'm one to, like, be organized. And for me to do that... I feel like I would need to have a really organized thing. And then there's the whole, like, okay, who's in, and then... Okay, so let's say there's five people, that's five people that you have to kind of work around their times, because 
with me, I have European viewers and I have American viewers, so it's kind of like someone's gonna miss out, and then if someone can't make it... It's something I'd be open to, it's just, you know, I, I wouldn't want it to be like a, okay, what, for one stream it worked, and then it just falls apart because half the people turn up, if that makes sense. I just don't, I don't like doing things that kind of end up unfinished. So, I guess that's, it's a pretty long answer, but I would say yes with a little, like, asterisk, you know? <laughs> It would only be with people that have been around the stream long enough. Or like, I consider them regulars or friends. And then it would be like, okay, like if we're going to do this, commit. This is the time, this is the date. Otherwise, nah. Okay, well, that was good. Wait, who is this? Why does this weapon look like a Christmas tree? Oh, it's a, it might be a drill. Uh, I don't know, who should I play as? Who haven't I played as? I think I played as you early on, but the one didn't fetch me. That's very reasonable. <laughs> I appreciate you saying that. But yeah, um, the question does get asked quite a bit. And it's almost a joke amongst streamers, just... They wait for the, the can I play. Whoa, what is this power? Okay, I know which stages would be really good in. Um, what would I... I guess let's go bad. Yeah. Loopy, you know what I did? <laughs> Straight up. It was happening so much when I was doing that big world, like, basically every stream. I haven't removed it, but yeah. Um, if you type, can I join, auto mod will be like, you're not allowed to say that. And even though I haven't played Terraria, well, I I'm playing Terraria now, but like, before this latest playthrough, I hadn't played it in over a year, and it's still there. I just left it there. Because it does apply to other games. But it's kind of like, I describe it as like, imagine you're with your friends, you're hanging out, and you know, you're in your house, you're playing games, and, you know, they're on the couch watching you, and then through the window someone walks by, they see that you're playing games, they knock on the door, and then they say, just say, hey, can I join? Like, what would you say? Like, that's the very first thing they say. <laughs> yeah, get the fuck out of my house. Yeah. I'm nicer about it if, like, we talk for a while. But if it's the very first thing they say, I'm just like, nah. Sorry. Listen, I've said this before, but uh, so at the last family gathering, I'll say it again because not everyone was around. It was a birthday and one of my younger cousins, you know, found out that I do streaming. He doesn't, he, I think he pops in from time to time. But doesn't really doesn't say anything, so don't worry. But he asked me if I had played Terraria before, and I was like, "Yeah, dude, I played it. Yeah." And he like, I think at one point the the devs like in a post or in the community forums like shouted me out because I was playing the game a lot, and I didn't even realize this until years later. And he was like, "Wow, really? What'd you do?" I'm like, "Oh, I made this big build, but I I haven't really played since." And he was like, yeah, hey, we should play sometime. And I was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
Well, it wasn't just me specifically. It was a bunch of people. They were just giving shoutouts to people that had hundreds of hours in Terraria. Like, that particular period, so... I was part of a list of, like, I think 10 people that were streaming the game quite a bit at that point and were doing interesting things. So that's why. But, I, you know, because I don't browse the forums. I didn't know this until someone pointed it out. It's still really cool. Um... Listen, me and my cousin give each other shit all the time. It's fine, but like... I said the same to him. I was like, dude, okay, first of all... Like... You're not even a teenager. Like... Nothing personal, but I... If I'm gonna hang out with someone on stream, it's gonna be an adult. If we're playing off stream, cool, yeah. But on stream, it's always gonna be like... They, they at least have to be... <laughs> A te like a late teen young adult, you know? At the very least. To carry a conversation and make it interesting. And the other thing is... I see it as another one of those things where we'll play once and then probably not again. Oh, that kid's got a really dry sense of humor, like... He's a troll, but... yeah. So, you know, if I'm saying no to my cousin... I guess what I'm saying is, you know, I am- I am picky. It's nothing personal. This spell is interesting. I kind of like it. It seems pretty strong. Also, this character looks like, uh, what's her name from The Witcher? Tris. I'm not even sure luck would be beneficial here. <laughs> this is already super strong. I, I can't see any of them getting into this inner circle here. This just seems ridiculously strong. Do twin birds. Oh yeah, speaking of Terraria, like... I'm not sure how I'm gonna break it up this Sunday, because... Sunday is technically Christmas Day. And whilst I will be doing something... The tradition is on Christmas Day I play, like, a retro game. Maybe I have time to do both, but, like, I have to squeeze in, I guess, a bit of that. Maybe, I guess it depends what time I get home, because we do Christmas on the 24th until midnight. 
That's when we open presents. So I guess it depends what time I get home, but I guess I would have to get up, do Terraria, then take a break, and then do this, and do, uh, like, the retro game. It's Christmas, do whatever I like. No, I know, but, like, again, I don't want it to be like, oh, Terraria Sunday, what's that two Sundays in already not doing it? <laughs> Listen, on the 25th I do nothing anyway, like all, all the thing is on the 24th for us. I'll figure it out. Everything's closed on the 25th anyway, so it's like... I'm just gonna be at home. But I'm just thinking of how to divide the time up. Nobody's going to arrest me for skipping Christmas. I wasn't gonna skip Christmas, I just meant like... Specifically Terraria. It will also be Christmas Eve for everyone else, that's why it's like a good time to stream. It's the one day of the year where being in Australia is kind of beneficial to stream. Because Christmas is already done in Australia and then everyone's doing Christmas Eve, so... Didn't think of that. Yeah. It's okay. No one thinks of Australia when it comes to time. <laughs> but, I mean, the, it is tradition. That's all. And they've been pretty good streams every year. Like, I've enjoyed them. The whole format of, like, doing chill games. Oh, I should've grabbed that. I'm an idiot. It's okay. <laughs> you're a little old American. Wait. So that means you're up super duper late. It's okay, you'll just join the, uh... The ever-growing club of insomniacs we have here. Well, oh, okay. It depends. Like, you could be an American in a different time zone. Like, there's a few that... That whilst they are American, they, they are somewhere overseas. It's 2 a.m. All right, that's not too bad. Three, 3 a.m., that's typically when you're cutting it. But as long as you got nothing to do tomorrow, it's, it's fine. Or even if you do, if, like, you have a way of being functional, it's fine. Ow. Okay. You gotta wake up and take care of the pets at around 9. Got it easy. No, still, like, let's say you get to bed at 4. <laughs> Getting up at 9 a.m. I've never been a morning person. I've always been a night owl. Even as a little- even as a little kid, just... 
My younger brother would wake up to watch cartoons and would try to wake me up and be like, Oh, this show's on. I'm like, that's great. And I'd roll over and go back to sleep. But if something's on at a late time, like, yeah, sign me up, I'll be up. You're the same? Yeah. I feel like the majority of people on Twitch are like this. It's almost to the point where when you sign up they ask you this question. Oh no, the birds didn't merge. I might have problems here. Oh, no, that's why. Because that one's not max. No, I'm, I'm an idiot. I, I, for, I missed one. You have no idea what's going on. It's okay. I mean, there is a bit of that in this game. But, you know, quick, quick thing is... You pick up weapons. You pick six weapons. And some of these weapons, they can... Evolve under certain conditions, so the twin birds merge into one beautiful rainbow bird once you get them both at their max level, which I've done now. I'm just an idiot and didn't do it before. So, that's resolved now. I like playing this game just because you can just play it with one hand. Okay. And... I don't know, there's something about having something weak and then it becoming broken that appeals to me. Uh, I guess I'll go cool down. I tried playing this on mobile and whilst it's cool they give a free version of this on mobile, the controls are so janky. I can't survive. But I've... I don't know. Maybe it's just because I don't play mobile games. Maybe that's just showing the old man in me, you know? If my younger cousins, they play Call of Duty on their phones. I don't know how they do that. I know this game is great, just because it starts getting pretty crazy with the projectiles and there's something comforting about it. I don't know. There we go. Birds have merged. Okay, what should I do next? I guess Bible? Okay, there we go. I'm not- I'm not even sure what other weapons to get, like, this already feels pretty strong. But yeah, I mean, if you want to play along, this is available on mobile. <laughs> This is another one of these games that I bet the developers had no idea how popular it was going to get. You have Terraria on mobile and it's pretty hard because you have a small phone and it's miserable. Yeah, I would imagine so. Actually, yeah, the cousin that I said no to... <laughs> ...in terms of gameplay... He was showing me on his phone. 
And I was like, man, I, I just would never be able to do that. But you can get uh, attachments for phones that... You can get controllers at the very least for them. So, I mean, if, if it was like that, then I'd be able to cope a bit better. Am I going to see him for Christmas? Oh yeah, definitely. He'll be there. Oh no. There's too many projectiles. <laughs> it's okay. Ah! I'll show him my, like, totally sick building tutorial that I haven't released. Although I guess it's on the the crappy video that had its audio muted. Be like, yo man, what do you think? This is how you build a house with the materials at the start, so it's not a box. And now it's... What is this called? It's called the... Unholy Vespers, so it's like... It's evolved form, I guess, is unholy, I don't know. Maybe I should get weapons that are... are like fireworks, just to make this look nicer, because there's the cherry bomb. not liking it's not liking it yep okay sounds gone so yeah this happens when there's too much uh projectiles there's not that many unless those those sparkles maybe that's what's causing it yeah i think it's the sparkles I guess each one... Oh, there you go. There you go. There's more pretty lights. I suppose each one counts as a point of contact. Okay, that there is a way I can fix this, so then I have to do this, is just remove the sound. And whilst, yeah, you can't hear it, at least you can hear music. And it doesn't become dead silent, so... It's, it's a compromise. I don't know, I feel like this is a bug that they could have fixed just by setting a hard limit as to how many sound effects the game tries to play at once. Um, I guess, just go Spellbinder. I'm not going to pick that up until I'm ready to get the next weapon. Oh. Is the Steam sale live? I think. I remember seeing a post from Devolver saying, Hey, if you're planning to buy one of our games, don't until at least... 10am? No, it would be tomorrow. It would be tomorrow. They said 10am Pacific.
They didn't say a steam cell, but that's pretty much what it means. So the big annual sale goes up tomorrow. That's you, Pacific? Oh, you can join the other Pacific timers. I suppose it makes sense. It would be way too, way too late for the East Coasters. Like when Aussies stream. It'd be early. Well, yeah, early, late. Same, same difference. Half empty, half full. If I was to start, like, at 7, it would be just on the edge of, like, early. You, you wouldn't be able to do that. You've tried to pull all-nighters and you barely make it to sunrise. Yeah, don't do all-nighters. I did them when I was in university a few times and let me tell you, like... Some of the sensations... Particularly once because... Um, disaster struck with one of our assignments and we lost... A bunch of work so we had to redo it all and they didn't give us an extension so we had to basically be at university for 36 hours so that was fun um the sensations are almost i can see why like being sleep deprived is probably as dangerous as like being drunk because it's very similar in that regard, is like your reflexes are slowed down and your brain kind of starts skipping shit <laughs> after a, a certain point, if that makes sense. Like, you have crystal clear vision and then you try to, and then like suddenly footage missing for a few seconds. There was a dude that, um, he liked to, he was a bit goth, so, you know, he sometimes would put, uh, makeup on. And I remember, I remember this, this, it freaked me the fuck out. Not the, not the makeup, but like, during this 36 hour period, um, he came in to do his assignments and he was sitting at his chair and I talked to him for like, five minutes and normal conversation right and then he came over again like an hour later asking if you know he could get us some food or something because we hadn't eaten and you know we we needed to do our assignments we couldn't move he's like yeah give me some money i'll do a food run very nice but at that particular instance when i turned to look at him his face, I swear, my brain just suddenly recognized that he had makeup on. And it was almost like it just switched on and it, it scared the fuck out of me. <laughs> like, when I when I had talked to him before, my brain, I guess it was like, oh, you know, this is, this is just him. So it didn't even think about it. And then the second time he came around, because I had to like, you know, turn around and answer him and take away focus from what I was doing. I don't know what happened, but like... It was like, it was, it wasn't there, and then it was there, and I'm like, dude, I, I, I need to sleep, I need to get this shit done, and I need to sleep, because I'm, I'm gone, like. <sighs> yeah. Freaked me the fuck out. He couldn't stop laughing at it. Because I was like, dude, did you go put makeup on? And he's like, no, I've had it on the whole time. 
did I scream? No, I just kind of jumped back in my chair. And then he was like, what? And I'm like, did you put makeup on? He's like, no, I've had it on the whole time. And he's like, yeah, listen, uh, I'm going to go get you food. I'm like, all right. It's funny. So, you know, don't, you can stay up, just don't stay up that late. Take it from someone that's done it more than a couple times. Once on stream and I'll, I'm never going to do that again. Okay, good night. Hey, I mean, look, like, I have, I have the tragic thing of, like, if I care about people watching, I have to be like, listen, I want people to watch my stream, but at the same time, like, not at the expense of them being not functional the next day. Such is the life of the Australian streamer. It's like this duality of, like, please watch my stream. Okay, stop watching my stream. Uh, I don't even know what to get now. I guess I said fireworks, but it just hasn't appeared. I have less on items than the other characters at the moment, and still doing really well. It's just this funnel. Probably do one more run and then I'll I'll play Stardew. I just wanted to open with this. Because I've been sinking too much time into Stardew and I feel like I need to balance it before people start calling me a Stardew streamer. I don't want to fall into the basket of one game. Uh, I don't, I don't want any of these. I guess I can skip it. There's nothing wrong with being a Stardew streamer though, is there? No, I'm not saying there's something wrong with it. It's more just, I'd hate for people to watch me and you know, they're used to me only playing one game. And then, suddenly I'm like, okay, I'm done with this, I'm gonna go play something else. And they're like, what? I thought you were a Stardew streamer. That's all. <laughs> I like to set the expectations, like, oh, okay, this person plays a bunch of games, so... Sometimes they'll be playing the game that I followed them for, but then other times they'll... ...be playing other things. That's all. You really believe that you'll be functional, but at the same time, you don't want to risk it. Hang on, it just started snowing three hours ago on top of black ice, which wasn't too bad. That just sounded like Charlie Brown and the adults talking. Wah, 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 Because I'm sheltered. <laughs> we don't have any of that in Australia. Wah, 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 snow.
But no, I understand. I, I would recommend getting rest, especially if you have to do stuff. If you didn't have to do anything, then it's like, I mean, you make your own choices. There's also a thing as a nap as well. It's also helpful. Uh, I mean, I guess get the clover. Listen, I'm, I'm guilty of it. Like, I'll probably... If anything... I'll probably be up late playing Stardew. It'll be like 3 in the morning here, and then I'll be like, Hey, remember that conversation I had, like, 6 hours ago? About telling someone to go to sleep early? Yeah, that was, that was great. What do you mean we don't have snow? Uh, because I'm in the Southern Hemisphere. Uh, the Southern Hemisphere is in summer. So, this blows people's mind. It's okay. It's not an education thing. It's more just, you forget that there's a whole other side of the world sometimes. But like, yeah, uh, Christmas in Australia is summer. So we have barbecues and stuff, and we go to the beach, and... You know, we're in shorts, and... I don't know. But in general, um, aside from our mountain ranges, we don't get snow. It's just not a thing. Like, if you want snow here, it's generally in August. It'll be like on the news, oh, and we're expecting rainfall in the cities, and if you go to the mountain that's three hours away, you can expect a beautiful weekend of snow. That makes up for one of the best snow seasons we've had in five years. That's right, three whole days of snow. Better get there before it disappears on Monday. <laughs> Nothing like a 12 hour nap between sleeping. Yeah, I mean, you gotta take a break from napping, don't you? Don't want to tire yourself out. I'm surprised at how many times I get laughed at for never having slipped on ice. Like, a, like that's supposed to happen to every person on the planet, but I've been laughed at a few times because I've, I've never slipped on ice. It's like, yeah, well, I'm, I'm sure if ice existed... I mean, okay, I've never slipped on ice, but have you ever had it so hot outside that if you put a piece of meat on the sidewalk, it cooks? Because I have. Not even ice skating. Never been ice skating. There's no ice here. Um, there are ice skating rinks that they set up in an indoor environment, but it's not the same thing. Laughed at because I haven't slipped. No, just laughed at because the concept of, like, me having never experienced ice. Do you know, do you know that Disney movie Cool Runnings? Like, I, I'm basically that. Like that old movie from the 90s, where the Jamaicans go to the Winter Olympic Olympics. That's how I would be experiencing my first snow season. Be like, ice? What is this ice?
it's all right. One day I'll experience it properly and then it's going to be a great experience. I might complain a little, but I think I'll enjoy it. You're jealous now. You want to go to the beach. It It is. It is. That's the one nice thing about Australia is just. Um, I mean, the population is pretty much along the coast because the middle of Australia is a desert that you can't live in. So, like, no matter where you live in Australia, you're only a few hours away from the beach and every single beach is public. So just go somewhere. And they're all pretty nice. Unfortunately, the weather, like I said, the weather's pretty shit <laughs> at the moment. Earlier, it was nice, but then it's kind of become almost like winter. And by winter, I mean what's probably the equivalent of, like, spring for some people. Go AoE. Does AoE affect this thing? It might. We've only got, like, another two minutes to survive anyway. You're British, all you, you do all the weathers badly. Well, I guess that's one way I can relate is, uh... They say Melbourne in winter is basically <laughs> like London. All the time. Which is just the weather's miserable. Like, you can take a photo here in winter where in front of you will be dark clouds and everything, and then directly behind you it's, like, sunshine. How many Celsius are I'm at right now? Alright, one sec, let me pull out the phone. So, it's 19 currently. But, it was 25 earlier. Oh shit. Tues Next Tuesday's gonna be 37, alright. A day of air conditioning and being outside, huh? I mean inside, sorry. Okay. Oh, 37's nothing. Like, that's... That's still within a comfort zone. It's like... Air conditioning will carry you, it'll be fine, and you can go to the beach and cool down. It's when it gets above 40, that's when it, it really sucks. But, that hasn't happened in a long time. Yeah, you want you want to talk about winter? <laughs> let, let me tell you about summer. UK hit a record 40 this year. That's cute that your record's 40. In 2020, a part of Australia was on fire, and that equated to, like, the size of the country of Belgium. And I think it hit 47 <laughs> that time. Like, the hottest was 47 somewhere in the country. I believe here it was 45, and we had the worst air quality in the world for like three days. Okay. Well, that's a victory. I can turn the sound effects back on. Oh, wait. No, not yet. You have to pull out a calculator, and it's... Wait, 1.6 or 16? Yeah, I mean... That's the thing. Winter, I'll convert it to Fahrenheit, because I do this for the Americans, right? But, like, let's see. So, winter here on average is the lowest it'll get, typically, is, like, 10 Celsius, which is 50 Fahrenheit, right? So, that's your average winter. The lowest recorded temperature in Melbourne, which was in the 1800s, sometime in the 1800s. So, this doesn't include the mountains. We're talking about, like, 
populated areas, right? It was negative 2 Celsius, which is 28.4. That was the hottest, uh, the coldest recorded temperature, and that was in the 1800s. So that, you know, even if it was a record-breaking cold, it wouldn't be... <laughs> it wouldn't be that bad compared to some other places. However, like, let's see. Hottest recorded temperature Melbourne. I want to see what it is. I'm pretty sure I know what it is, but I'm double checking. Right. So, yeah. So the hottest recorded temperature was 46.4, which was 115.5 Fahrenheit. And that was in 2009. I do remember that. But, I mean, it has hit 45 a few times. Anyway. There you go. It could snow. Yeah, but, like, that would have to be, like, a freak once in a hundred year, you know, occurrence, right? But, again, those are the extremes. Um, typically, summer, right? Let me, let me figure it out. Typically, summer is going to be between uh, 25 Celsius, which is 77, to 35, which is 95 Fahrenheit. And then if you have, like, a hot day, it'll be between um, 35, right, which is 95, and then, like, the highest would be, like, 38, 104, so that's, like... Sorry, 100.4. So that's typical, right? Anything higher than that, it only happens like maybe five days each summer. And that's when it can be like up to that record temperature. But it's only for like five to six days each, each season of summer. So that's roughly what you're looking at here. And before you say you would die, like, listen... In a country like this, where this happens, air conditioning is standard everywhere. That's the thing. It's like, don't think of it as, like... You're thinking of it as you're going to be spending all your time outside. You're not. Like, on these days, you'll be inside with air conditioning, or you'll be at the beach if it's not too hot, and then you'll be cool. Or any place you go to, whether it be, like, a public building, um transport like a bus it doesn't matter it's going to have air conditioning and you're going to be fine it's just whatever little journey you need to take between those places that sucks okay i may not have never slipped on ice but you know what i've done i've gotten into my car pulled the seat belt and burnt myself on the metal <laughs> you want to talk about slipping on ice how about that Pulling the seatbelt and then the metal buckle that you're supposed to, you know, fasten. Yeah, that shit gets hot. I burnt my hand on that a few times. There you go. And I feel like everyone has to go through that at least once. Okay, we'll do one more run. I want to try this new person. Become strong and invincible for a fixed interval after defeating a large group of enemies. Let's do another stage. I'll do the tower. Let's try it. Whoa, what is, what is this attack? Oh yeah, right, hang on. Um, I need to turn the sounds on. This looks pretty nice. Okay, hang on. The hottest you've ever experienced is 117, and you could, could stand outside or couldn't? You live in a weird place where it gets cold in the winter and it gets really hot in summer because it's a desert. Ah, yeah, that makes sense. Um, just thinking what I should do.
I'll do AoE. I feel like that would benefit this pretty well. Absolutely couldn't. Yeah, it's okay. You're not alone on that. The majority of people here are going to say that. Honestly, I think it's just the Australians or people that are in similar climates that would say yes. It's fine. Wait, wait, what is happening? Why aren't they dying? Oh, this is bad. Don't tell me- wait, but how, how does this item kill? <laughs> how does this item work? Did I glitch the game? Why is it not damaging? Oh no. Okay, there we go. No, I think it's just the initial explosion that does it. Oh, ooh. Okay, I see, I see, I see, I see. Oh, this is, this is bad. Okay, I need, I need something to defend me. Um. <laughs> All right, how about we go with this? This spell. I'm happy to get it again. Base area increased by 100. All right, sure. I got that nice, nice sparkle thing again. Reduce cooldowns. I'm sure it gets stronger, but okay, maybe at the start it's really weak. Uh, I'm just thinking where this is going. I'll do Rune Tracer. Whoa. <laughs> okay. That's that's the uh, superpower. Uh, let's do AoE. It's like almost Ultra Instinct looking. This is much better. This looks visually nice though. Uh, okay. Alright. <laughs> Rocky start, but it's okay. Uh, I'm gonna get the axe. The center it becomes like a, a circle of axes eventually. This is why I love this game. It's just sometimes you'll get runs that are very bad and it'll be a struggle and then suddenly it's just... Picked up momentum. I think it's gonna go back down to bad once the enemies start getting a little tankier. But I'm like permanently in this this state of euphoria. Very nice though. I'm gonna see if I can get the cherry bomb skill so then it looks even more like fireworks. Oh, there we go. Back to normal. <laughs> Sad. Oh, this feels so slow. It's okay. I, I expected this. Uh, okay. X.
There we go! Okay, I'm just gonna get the chest. I think I need to start moving upwards. Uh, okay, that's gonna involve Rune Tracer. I said move up, but... <laughs> There's too much stuff dying, must collect all these XP crystal things. Ah, oh, yeah, it's dying down a lot quicker now. Uh, let's just. I want to stick to the plan. Fireworks display. That's what I want. Come here. <laughs> that was quick. Okay, I'm happy about that. Um, You know what? Hold on. Let me just check. Okay, it looks like it has an evolution, but I'm not sure what it is. Um, I might have to guess it. Like, okay, what... What would be the likely thing? It's a spell, so, I mean... You would think it would be one of these two, but I'm not sure. Just trying to think what else it would be. To evolve it. Hmm. All right, I don't know. I give up. <laughs> You're gonna force yourself to go to sleep. All right, Loopy, no worries. Well, thanks for popping in, appreciate it. Hopefully catch you next time. Rest well. Good luck with the animals. Oh, I'm always having fun. Even when it sounds like I'm not. Yeah, I don't know. If it's not one of the books, I don't think it's easy to guess. Wouldn't it be funny if I was still going? I mean, it's 9 it's nine p.m. here, so there's always a chance that, like... <laughs> I'm still here in, like, seven hours. I guess we'll see how Stardew goes, huh? Like... I did all the important stuff today, so I guess tomorrow... I would like to finish editing the end of year video, but it's not like I have to get up early for that. Which, by the way, anyone who made clips was a huge help in that regard. Like, it's made my life so much easier this year. I like this ascended form thing, it's so cool. This ability is way too strong. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's just... It does so much. 
I think it's the best skill in the game I've seen so far. And if it gets even better, jeez. It just, it deals with trash mobs so easily. Um, keep going with the axe. Okay. Is there anything ready to evolve? I mean, not yet, but... Well, hang on. Do the orbs evolve? Oh, they- Oh, and you need- Ooh, you need- Okay. It already gave me the recipe for it. So I can evolve the orb if I get spinach. Um, I might just have to go for that. I've never seen a triple item requirement. Okay, one, either way, spinach or axe, it's gonna happen. I was gonna say, how's the passive not procced? Uh, axe, all right. Time to evolve. Just making sure that I don't get spinach as well. All right, go. Ah, damn it. <laughs> I should've waited. I could've maybe gone at a double. Oh, I didn't get anything. <laughs> what? No. How did that not give me the evolution? Alright, whatever. Go, go, go. Oh no, I am slow. Spinach! Nice. <laughs> this fireworks display is kind of insane. I can barely tell what's going on, but it's cool. Okay. Alright, this is an evolution, not sure which one. Oh, cool. Yeah, I'll take it. Yeah, this game... It does look nice, though. Like, there's some combinations where it's just everything is nice and pretty. This is one of them. If only I had the, the ability that the, the dog does, which is like, shooting flowers. Oh, those things are just melting.
thinking what my last passive should be. I guess it should be this, because then I can get the wand as well. The brace is going to be given to me, so... Just think of what else might look visually nice. Garlic, oh yes! I have to do that now. Every time I say garlic, oh dear. Oh dear. Okay, this has to be the orb. Unless Rune Trace is ready. Yeah, okay, Rune Trace is ready. Damn it! <laughs> oh, you know what it could be? It could be that this one has a requirement like the other one where the skill level of the passive also has to be high. Which, fine, I'll... I'll oblige. I need that speed buff again. Wait, it's only 12 minutes? I thought this was way later. Oh, dude. Okay. There's still plenty of time left. Um... Garlic. Oh, yes! Okay. Ah, come on. It, I, it's gotta be a le an item level requirement. I think it would've definitely happened by now otherwise. Yeah, here we go. This makes it feel like a bonus stage in a game where you're just collecting all the coins. I, I can't even see my character. I just know that he's in the middle of the screen. Ah, back to normal. Okay, in theory, this. Sh Ooh. Uh, banish the whip. Garlic. Okay, there it is. That's what I wanted to want. Okay, build complete. In the interest of getting the wand ready. Oh, okay. 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 <laughs> Just give me everything I would ever need. Did it drop the chest? No, it doesn't look like it did. Oh, yes, it did. I can't see it. There it is. You know what, I may as well wait until... Give me a sec. Okay, there we go. Uh, money always. Okay. Now I can collect this. Either way, this has to be an evolution. There's no way it's not. Ooh, what is this? Godai Shuffle generates an additional explosion. 
Okay, so it... Whoa! Oh! Oh! Oh my god. Oh, this looks so nice. I, I, can't, I cannot see what's going on. I'm just trusting that things are dying. Hold on, where's where's the bracer? I w did I I ran past the bracer. Okay, I'm getting this. Uh, I'm pretty sure I have a character somewhere. Yes, I I see. I see a character taking damage. Oh, th wow, that was quick. Okay, I need to... Wait. <laughs> There's a chest here. Where's the chest? Like, I can't see. I can't see where the chest is. Where's the chest? It's so, it, there's a chest here. I, I just don't know where it is. Okay, there's the arrow. Okay, follow the arrow, follow the arrow, follow the arrow. There. Because we have to be more ridiculous, right? Dude, it's only 15 minutes in and I'm already level 91. That's insane. This is usually, like, half-hour mark levels here. And this is without XP boosting as well. I want to make sure I don't miss any of the stuff. Okay, silver ring is over here. I see it, I see it, I see it. I got it this time. I still haven't interpreted that. Dude. Okay. So, you know, that, that's, that's cool. Is that thing already dead? No, it's here. I was gonna say. <laughs> that... I, I haven't seen that thing die that quickly ever. It was on screen for like maybe 15 seconds. Okay, increases projectile speed. Yes! Alright, I'm running to the bottom now. <laughs> I can't, like, I just see a health bar. That's it. My character is the health bar at this point.
So yeah, this was a cool build, huh? <laughs> and yet, this isn't struggling with sound. How's this not struggling with sound? Come on, give me that speed boost. I just realized how the garlic AoE is massive. It's almost filling the entire vertical space. I just noticed that. I was like, wait, where's the garlic? And I'm like, oh, it's almost filling the whole screen. It's because it's stacking with that uh, left piece. Oh no, I left the chest! Yeah! Zip zoom, motherfucker! The leveling has slowed down quite a bit. I suppose this is the perfect stage for this vertical skill. <laughs> I couldn't see that barricade. Oh yeah, yeah, precision dodging. I can totally see where those are gonna fall onto. It's not like there's just a million projectiles on the screen. Walk in to the wall. Okay, there's the ring. With Lancet. I don't... I guess there's a character called Lancet. That's the only explanation. Oh. There's a chest. Alright, let's see how quick this one lasts. That's it. I'm dead. Increases enemy speed, health, quantity, and frequency. You know what? I relish a challenge.
Oh, there it is. Excuse me, sir. Watch it try to get close to me. <laughs> okay, I had to move, but, you know, you got the idea. So, six minutes left. This is probably going to be my highest level reached. With any character. I can't say I've ever seen it go above 120. Like, I think a smart thing to do would be to just... Go walk back and forth for a little bit, and then go down and collect all the jewels. Ah, crap! Giant enemy crap! <laughs> Is it that? I, I, I can't. I genuinely can't tell. <laughs> I can't tell. Okay, it's dead. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I can't see it. I can't see it. Okay, there it is. Hey, man, pal. At this point, you gotta ask yourself, like, what are you even watching? Nice bit right. Yeah, I know. Bit right killer. Kiss kiss say. Dude, I, I, I can't, I can't tell what's going on. I, I keep saying it, but now this is even more so. You know, increasing the enemy quantity, I guess this is what it does. Like, where does the projectile end and the enemy begin? Oh, yes, money! That's the other thing, I've earned quite a bit of gold coin. You know, at, at a certain point at, in this run, I thought I was going to lose, just because of how bad it was going, but, huh, guess I was wrong. Like, at the start, it was uh, quite concerning when I wasn't killing things. It's kind of cool if you just focus on one effect, like, try and focus on the wisps going horizontally, only the wisps going horizontally, and then change your focus to the vertical star thing, and then change your focus to the, the things bouncing around the room.
Just focus on one object and it's kind of... Kind of mesmerizing. Oh yeah, the axe upgrade, that's right. Yeah, I can see it. Now that you say that. Oh! Ooh, I'm taking damage. I think I have to stand still at this point. I completely forgot I had the axe upgrade, but... Okay, 20 seconds... Kind of a shame to lose this, but oh well. <laughs> okay, I can see his outline. It's there. Okay, that was quite the run. Evolve the four seasons. I unlock Suto. Okay, just I'm not gonna play another one. It's just, who is this? Starts with the hidden knight sword, morphs into a stronger version when his base weapon evolves. Okay, interesting. Okay. Uh, taking a short two to five minute intermission, I'm just going to get myself a bottle of water. And uh, we're going to settle in with Stardew for the rest of the evening, but... I wanted to do some vampire survivors just to kick back for a while. So, hope you enjoyed. Alright, uh, I'm gonna put some video game music for you to listen to whilst I go prepare. So yeah, if you're here for vampire survivors, thanks for watching.